going on guys no car right for man coming at you guys with a short one today in this video i'll be showing this little piece of equipment that i got to complement my chinese type 56 sks rifle that i have so you know it's kind of hard to find something that really something modern that works really good with uh to carry um like sks stripper clips on you you know so i do have like a chest rig that i use that could throw some in there but it doesn't really hold the stripper clip secured in there so i figured why not just go to something original so i decided to pick up this chinese type 56 sks bandolier this is a surplus piece of equipment as you can tell it does have some uh tear and wear to it it's not torn anywhere but it is somewhat dirty i guess i did clean it up a little bit compared to when i first got it uh, it was quite filthy but um managed to clean it pretty good it does have some uh spots here and there i think ultimately i'm just going to throw it in the washer machine and let it air dry i did kind of scrub it by hand and use some disinfectant to clean it up the best i could so yeah uh, has a smell to it um not a bad smell it's kind of a weird it's like, it's like one of those weird smells that you kind of like you know like gasoline you know that kind of stuff but uh yeah anyways here it is you know um this guy does hold 200 rounds it does hold two stripper clips per pouch however i found it more comfortable to run just one stripper clip per pouch because if you use two it's kind of hard to Get a stripper clip out of there quick because they tend to kind of get tangled up so i usually just run you know one per pouch um ultimately you could run you know however many you want really and use some of the pouches for like other stuff like oil or like a cleaning kit or i don't know something right but me i just you know i just carry ammunition in this guy because i think it works really well it's something that you could just throw ammo in throw in a backpack you know and Kind of forget about it you know just uh if you're gonna throw in a backpack maybe throw some silica you know uh moisture little containers so that it uh doesn't get all damaged from moisture and you know moldy i guess but yeah but yeah uh you could tell us for the age of this thing is for how old it is i should say it's made pretty well it's pretty pretty good material you know pretty thick canvas and uh it's you know survived the test of time and still holding up just fine even in uh modern times so yeah i always thought these were like some kind of like little nuts or something like nut shells or something but no there's actually like a little wood little thing that holds the pouch closed as you can tell and the way you get into the strip clips in there you kind of run it out of the loop and just lift up and you can just you know get in there and pull your stripper clip out or whatever but uh yeah it's pretty cool pretty good concept you know the i think at the time you know the chinese army definitely knew what they were doing when they came up with this guy because man let me tell you you can do some serious work with this setup here and a uh, sks as far as uh target shooting and whatnot you know out of the range or whatever or what have you so yeah anyways here it is uh as you can tell it does have some loops where you can make adjustments this does adjust pretty good from a smaller guy to a bigger guy um i'm about five nine five ten two hundred and twenty five pounds and this guy fits on me pretty comfortable but uh, again, if you need to make adjustments, you can. So you know, keep that in mind that you, even if you're a bigger guy, you could adjust this to a point where it will fit you just fine. So uh, anyways, I'll go ahead and demonstrate putting it on. You hold it out in front of you like this, run your arms through these uh, loops here, and you just throw this over the back of your neck. I'm just gonna fix my little hoodie here. And uh, yeah, pretty much, once you throw it on you, this is how it's gonna sit. You're going to have these traps right here loose, pretty much just tie them in the back. I usually just do like a few knots, kind of like a shoelace type of knot, and then uh, just kind of leave it like that so it's not too hard to take off. But anyways, you know, that's how it fits. As you can tell, it definitely sets at a good 
height so you could just you know get in there and reload or whatever as you're shooting uh, it's a little bit of a slow reload for my taste because getting these little things flaps open here once you got them hooked in here is somewhat of a particular thing to do right but really how you do is you turn this guy run it out and you open the flap you know the more practice you do the better you get at it but anyways so anyways there it is this is how it fits fits pretty good you know like i said you could adjust it so yeah just for demonstration i'll go ahead and show how good it looks while holding sks this rifle is clear so just for those of you wondering i will close the bolt I know I don't have an original sling, and I know somebody's probably going to say something about it, but I really like this Magpul RLS sling here because it does allow you to run your arm through here for stability. You know, if you want to take a more uh, aim shot, definitely helps you keep it tight by using the sling. So, yeah. But anyways, you know, that's pretty much it. Uh, it does complement having an SKS pretty good. I really love this rifle a lot. It's by far one of my favorite rifles to shoot. And uh, I just think it's uh, a good piece of equipment, man. You know, it's... I believe this rifle was produced somewhere in 1969. And I'm not sure about the bandolier. But, yeah. They both work together pretty good. So, you know, if you're out there in the range and you reload this guy... You know, you're out here doing some work, boom, 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 run out, bring it down, strip a clip out, run into the track, push them in, release the bolt, there you go, you're good to go, you know. So, again, this is a nice piece of equipment to have. If you have an SKS, I highly recommend you get a bandolier, and uh, I don't think you'll regret it, you know. This is a nice little survival gun. Definitely, or, you know, I believe there is some SKS rifles being used in the European conflict going on right now over in Ukraine. So that's for you to, that's just to tell you how effective these rifles are, you know. They are old, but man, let me tell you, these things are really, really accurate and reliable. So definitely wouldn't uh, think twice about using one of these for self-defense or what have you. But anyways, uh, thanks for watching this video. Just wanted to share this nice little piece of equipment. Hopefully, if one of you is looking to pick something like this up, it answers all your questions. If you have any questions, go ahead and comment. Please like, comment, subscribe if you like my videos. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys.